Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so we got the Evolution X 8.5 Android 14 on the Google Pixel 4. Now, first off, I just want to say that this is an unofficial build. So another developer basically took the Evo X ROM and made it compatible with the Pixel 4. So a lot of the ROM development is based on one developer alone. However, I got to say that this ROM is actually pretty smooth. And just to show you guys, it is in fact running Android 14. As you do get the Android 14 Easter egg. Which, you know, it's, it's a little weird, but, you know, you can still you can still be entertained by this Easter egg, if that makes any sense. So while I'm fiddling around with it, uh, just to let you guys know, how to install it is a little bit different than installing it on, say, the Pixel 6, 7, or 7a, or any of those. Um, the only two files you need, basically, is the boot image and the custom ROM zip file. And you would flash it the same way as I showed in previous videos of how to flash this custom ROM on different Pixel devices. I kind of wish that I had a uh, you know, Pixel 4 XL that was bootloader unlocked. So then that way I can flash this on the XL. As my only gripe with this device is that while it does slightly improve the battery life, um, my device has been through a lot of charge cycles. So with this custom ROM, I can see that it is basically at 81% of its uh, battery health capacity. So um, yeah, it'll, it'll start dying a lot quicker. But I mean, not as fast as it would when it was on Android 13 stock ROM. Uh, everything else is pretty much basic, what you see on Android and its stock ROM itself. Uh, there are some customizations that you can put on this device. Um, there's just a couple of them that I kind of miss that are on the other pixels that uh, this developer did not include in this build. Not sure why, but it's not really a big deal. It's not going to take away from the functionality and the performance of the device, which matters most above all. Visuals, you know, aesthetics and stuff like that are not the most important thing. So we really don't have to worry too much about that. But uh, if you're wondering, does the 3D face unlock work? Yes, it does. Um, originally, they were going to opt to do just a two-dimensional face unlock. But they were able to get the source code files from Google to be able to implement the 3D face unlock. However, the um, 8.6 version that they're currently working on, it will lose 3D unlock. They had to do 2D. So if you're very meticulous about the 3D unlock, using it for biometrics for apps and stuff like that, then you might want to hold off and stay on 8.5 of Evo X and do not upgrade to 8.6. But other than that, I mean, you know, it's... Uh, it is what it is. It, it it brings additional life to the Pixel 4 and 4XL um, just because those devices ended on Android 13 and are no longer getting supported. So at least keeping some life on this and also bringing um, updated security patches to it, uh, I think that's the best part. And yeah, other than that, I mean, it's a pretty good ROM. I still got more days to play around with it to learn more about it which then I'll come back and give you guys like a full rundown of like the good, the bad, and the ugly. But so far, it's been mostly good for that. Um, stay tuned for future videos on this, and I'll let you guys know how it goes.